Hey everybody, Mike with Fishing from Kayaks here. Loading up the truck, getting ready to head out to Sunset Beach, uh, North Carolina, do a little trout and red fishing. Got a couple new boats for Christmas. So we're gonna take them out, see how they do on some of the backwater creeks around Sunset Beach. So stay tuned, hope to bring you some really good live footage. See you in a bit. Okay, so we loaded up the truck and we headed to Sunset Beach. Uh, as I mentioned, we actually got these kayaks for Christmas. And, and this is actually the first time that my son and I have ever fished from kayaks. Uh, and honestly, it's my first time being in a kayak period. So we got to Sunset Beach and we launched at Bonaparte Landing and paddled across the intercoastal waterway back up into Bonaparte Creek. Um, you know, we didn't really have uh, all that great of a game plan. Uh, neither my son nor I have really uh, specifically targeted trout. We certainly have fished for, for redfish from the surf, but um, obviously sort of our first time targeting trout. So uh, we thought we'd just go up into the creek and just sort of play it by ear. Uh, my son Tyler actually hooked up with a couple of trout, but wasn't able to land them and and so he was getting a little bit discouraged. And, and after his first few close encounters, I had finally hooked up with a trout and was able to land it. Um, again, this is actually my, my first speckled trout. It was about uh, 17 and a half inches long. And, and actually all the fish we caught this weekend were pretty much between 15 and 20 inches. So, so after I landed that fish, we continued to fish around Bonaparte Creek. Uh, and then Tyler was actually um, able to land a couple of fish. He was fishing with, with a mirror lure. I was fishing, uh, with some soft plastics, but I was glad that Tyler was able to, to hook up. He actually caught two fish, both about 17 inches long. Um, and in the pictures you'll see here in a second, I think the smile on his face really says it all. So all in all, um, day one was, was definitely not a bad day. Uh, learned a lot and had a really good time. So day two was honestly a bit of a struggle. A front was moving in, the wind was blowing about 20 miles per hour, and my GoPro wasn't cooperating. So the footage you'll see for today was pretty much all still photos. But we launched again from Bonaparte Landing and we paddled up into Bonaparte Creek. Uh, we learned really quickly that we need to invest in a shallow water anchoring system for the kayaks because we were getting blown all over the place. But we were able to beach on a little sandbar and able to do some fishing outside of the kayaks. Uh, and I was unfortunately the only one to catch a fish this day, but it was a really nice fish. It was about 20 inches long. So although the weather and the fish didn't cooperate much, we still had a great time in the kayaks paddling around, exploring, and just having a good time. We even ran across a couple of, of really nice conch shells. On the third day, we didn't get into the kayaks at all because of the high winds, but that didn't stop us from fishing from the bank for a little bit. All right, beautiful Saturday. Me and the sun heading out, put in here at the Sunset Beach Bridge. Gonna paddle across the intercoastal waterway real quick up into some of these creeks. Gonna try to uh, see if we can't hook a few trout. Would love to get a hold of a little drum that might still be lingering here. Although that's a lot less likely. Um, but we're gonna be using artificial baits today. No live baits, no cut baits. Artificials, mostly uh, a couple crank baits and some soft plastics on some jig heads. Gonna be fishing mirror lures, uh, trout tricks, um, popping cork with a gulp shrimp. We're actually, as we go through some of these creeks, and they're casting, we're gonna drop a little jig down with a little gulp curly tail on it and kind of troll it. See if we can't maybe pick up a bonus fish here or there. So that's kind of the plan. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll be back with some really good action here in a couple of minutes. 
So on, on the fourth day, we definitely wanted to try a few different things. So this time we launched from the Sunset Beach Bridge and headed back into some creeks not too long after high tide. Uh, the previous days we had essentially been fishing low tide but wanted to try something a little bit different. Let me just say this, uh, paddling around when the water is up in these grass flats is probably the most peaceful thing uh, I think I've ever experienced. Uh, so we had a really good time and luckily Tyler was actually able to pick up a, a fish pretty early uh, this day. So after a couple of hours of, of no action after Tyler's first fish, we decided to paddle from Sunset Beach Bridge back to Bonaparte Creek, which is quite a hike, um, but we had most of our luck uh, around low tide in Bonaparte Creek, so it was um, something that we just decided to go ahead and do. Uh, not too long after being up in Bonaparte Creek, uh, Tyler actually was able to hook up and land a couple of, of decent fish, so uh, it was definitely worth the paddle, uh, although on the way back, he might have wanted to argue the point that the paddle uh, was worth it. But we continued to fish Bonaparte Creek to low tide and headed back to load up and head home. You know, all in all, it was a really awesome trip. We learned a lot. I think one of the things we, we definitely will do different next time is let Tyler carry the GoPro, since he's definitely the one that catches all the fish. Although, I was finally able to get some footage of him landing a small trout here at the end of our trip. I really appreciate you watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you also provide some feedback, tips, and guidance in the comments to help us make our next trip even better. We definitely look forward to bringing you more videos in the near future, so stay tuned.